Hey y'all, so welcome back to another video with your girl. It's me, Mommy Knuckles. <laughs> it's me, Mommy Knuckles loves. Welcome back to another video. Listen, so on today's video, I'm going to show my loves how to make this good, quick, nutritious, delicious pepper steak. Pepper steak. Now, now... It's a fast pepper steak. Because your girl ain't got time. I ain't got time to cut up the onions. I ain't got time to cut up the steak. I ain't got time for all of that. I work. I work. So I got to do it the way I could do it. You may make your pepper steak different. I'm going to make my pepper steak the way I make it. Okay, y'all. So stay tuned for this quick, nutritious, delicious, fast Pepper steak dinner. All right, loves. Okay, loves. So these are all the ingredients you will need for your pepper steak. So I have the onion and pepper upside down. <laughs> I have the onion and pepper blend because your girls just told you I ain't got time to cut up the onions and the peppers. Then I have the beef fajitas. Yeah, yeah, that's my steak, girl. It gets done. It gets good. Then I have the brown gravy mix, and I have the beef broth. I have a little yellow rice. I have my mama biscuits, right? And then I season all of this with the Lara, Lara seasoning salt, <laughs> the garlic powder. Uh-oh, 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 it's an adult bowl. And I good, 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 say something. And I grease the bottom of my pot with a little bit of, uh, who, what, who, country crock. All right, now, so stay tuned for this good, fast, pet bus steak. All right, love, so that is the beef fajitas. I got them in the pot. You can hear the sizzling. Yes, girl. But watch. Watch how this come out. So that's the beef fajitas. I'll be back. All right, love. So I know this angle is crazy, but my tripod just broke, and I'm going to get this video done, okay? We're going to get this video done. All right, so while my beef fajitas is on and cooking, I'm going to put my Goya rice in this pot over here. I already added my butter, and I'm going to add my rice. To this pot. I add one bag of rice. This is usually enough for me and my family. Um, this is to me making a mess. That's usually enough for me and my family. This bag of rice, and my husband have something to take to work. So. I don't know if, I think I put too much water in there. I don't know if you guys ever cooked uh, Goya rice, but you got to put the rice in, the, the rice in, the butter in, the water, the butter, the rice, and let it bring it to a bowl. All right, y'all. So, so this is my beef and Pizza's over here. Let me clean up my trash because, yeah. 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 Look at this angle. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys, that I got to be down here cooking up here. And my weave going to get caught on fire. Girl. All right, y'all. Can y'all hear that? Some beef that he does. Now. Sometimes these pieces are big. So what I would do, right? Because some of these pieces are big, I would take a knife, right? And I will cut them because they're big to make it more. Even though I use two bags. Be 
Now, as you know, it don't take long to cook that meat. That meat is already done. So we pretty much just warming it up, getting it ready for the onions and the peppers. That's all we doing. That's what we doing. All right, guys. So now this is the part where I add my little, my little twist on it. I'm going to add my little twist on it. I'm going to put some beef broth in it. Put the top bag on it and let all of this simmer up together. Get that good, 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 good. So this is what it's looking like with the beef broth, the seasoning. Yeah, this is what it's looking like so far. Now I'm about to add these onions and peppers. So here's the onions and pepper blend mix. I'm about to add it because I did tell you all, right, I work. I ain't got time to be cutting onions, and I ain't got time to be cutting peppers. Yeah, I ain't got time. If you work, get smart. This is good. You better do it like this, girl, and get smart with your time. So I'm dumping the onions and peppers straight into the meat and the seasoning and the broth. And usually one bag does it for me. And like I said, I'm feeding a family of five. And it'll still be enough for my husband to take the work and a little bit for the next day. So one bag used to be, onions and peppers used to be enough for us. So, I'm going to show you guys what it looked like in just a minute. Alright love, so this is what it's looking like. You can see the peppers and the onions. I got red peppers, green peppers, and onions up and through that thing right there, honey. This is a good time, good time, yeah, good time. Y'all see that? Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I ain't done down. Just wait a minute. Alright love, so you seen the peppers, the red peppers, the green peppers, the onions all up in that meat like that. All up in that meat. So listen, I am about to add a little bit more beef stock and my brown grape. Have a good time, good time, yeah, good time, good time. I got my rice on and I'm about to throw my mama biscuits up uh, in so the... I just added a little bit more beef stock, beef broth, my bag, beef broth, stock, same thing. And now I'm going to add um these two packs of brown gravy mix i'm adding soup oh gosh i'm making a mess just sprinkle it in there and then i like to stir it up it'll help it get it'll help the beef broth <laughs> thicken up and if two packs ain't enough you can always add three usually usually two packs be enough though but if it's not it depends on how much broth was added. You can always add um, the third pack, but yeah, two usually do it. It usually do it. So I'm gonna let this simmer. And I'll be back. All right, love. So that is how your girl put the pepper steak and rice together. Yes. My secret ingredients is them beef fajitas, girl. I done told y'all I ain't got time for all that. But anyway, loves, let me know. Would you guys use yellow or white rice? What do y'all prefer with your pepper steak? Would you ever try? Comment down below and let me know would you ever try the fajitas, the beef fajitas, and your pepper steak. Girl, it's good. Good, 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 good. I got a picky daughter, right? A really, really picky daughter, but she loved this pepper and steak I put together. And ain't nobody know I was using beef fajitas. Girl, they thought I was in there doing all that preparation. Who? Oh, I told y'all at the beginning of this video, I work. Ain't nobody got time for that. I ain't got time for that. Stay tuned for the final outcome of my pepper steak and rice. I got my mama biscuits in the oven, girl. We about to have a good time. I'll see y'all in a minute. All right, y'all. So, this is where we at so far. This is what it's looking like. This is what it's looking like. 
You see the peppers and the onions, the red peppers, the green peppers. This is what we looking like, y'all. Yes, honey. And excuse the filming, because I'm doing this all by myself. Yes, I think I just want to maybe. Y'all see? Let me get y'all a spoon so y'all can see how thick this gravy is. Y'all see that? Yes, I think I'm going to thicken it up just a little bit more. It's kind of, yeah. So what you do for that, I just get a couple more packs of brown gravy mix, throw it right in there, and thicken that right on up. I'll be right back, love. All right, love, so y'all see that? Good, good, good. Look how thick it is now. I'm just going to get some of it now. Look how thick the... Yes, honey. Yes, 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 yes. So I let this simmer for a couple more minutes. And I'm done with that. Alright, loves. Here's the final project. The good, good yellow rice. You see my peppers up in there. What? This is some good eating. My mama biscuits. Girl. We about to throw down, throw down. Thanks for watching. Come back for another one. Y'all should go try this. Bye, loves.